So Gaffer, opening day of the season here at Halifax, a narrow defeat in the end, how did you see that one? Narrow, toy game. Um, just, just very, the most disappointing thing is when we got back into the game at one all, um, we gave up another like, really poor goal. Both goals we gave up are really poor. Um, and when we were in, in control of the game, especially forced half and dominating the game, we didn't have enough end product to take the lead. So forced goals in games like this are always difficult, especially against a team that sort of sit in as a five, <coughs> make it difficult to play sort of Five, four, one, make it difficult for you. And uh, to be fair to them in both boxes, they were slightly better than us on the day. Yeah, I think I said to Connor just uh, in the pre-match, we said Halifax obviously a team that pride themselves on a really good defence performance, and, and they got that today. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, they did. But we had chances like with two headers at the end to equalise um, in the first half. We getting some fantastic areas. Uh, lack of end product from us um, in the top end of the pitch especially with a dominant, a dominant and a phase in the play, but they do pride themselves on this. Chris's teams are very well organised defensively, but we got we want to be priding ourselves on our defensive performance. Well, both goals that we give away are really poor, like really poor individual errors, so um, it's something we've got to make sure we improve on. Yeah, I mean, on the plus side, you know, Stead created a great chance out of, out of you know, maybe nothing, and then obviously managed to force a save, and then and then for Coker to score as well, you must be pleased with the attacking threat in that instance. Yeah, even that, that was that was the wrong decision from Stead. He should have slid Cox in originally. Um, it's took a deflection there, Gordy's made a good save and Cox has followed in. But if you actually look at that, the overload is, in, uh, I think Nicky flicks her on from a direct ball and then Steady runs in the channel, he comes on the inside and Cox was in, he should slow them in. So that's a decision making that Cox is not winning here today because we had so many scenarios like that in the first half, we made the wrong decision. I guess obviously with it being the opening game and obviously our head coach, you have a full week of training before, you know, uh, the game next Saturday, absolutely. Yeah, look, this can't be too down when we, when we lose and we can't be too uh, up when we win. So that's how we'll always be. Um, we know how difficult it is to come to Halifax. It's a really difficult place to come. And, um, on the day, they were, I wouldn't say they were better than us. I just think that things went for them on the day, really. Like I say, at the end, we had two unbelievable chances with Kizzy and Addy, two free headers where we should score. Um, and just our end product in the final tour cost us today. Yeah, and finally, absolute away is next up. Thoughts going into that one? Yeah, just dust ourselves down. Obviously, Monday we'll debrief the game with the players and then just move on to the next game. And uh, That's all we can do. You know, um, what I would say, I want to thank our supporters for, for coming up today. I know it was difficult, change, trains were cancelled and stuff like that, so I want to thank them for their support. Um, sorry we couldn't give them the three points that I feel that we, you know, we deserved on another day. If our, if our end product's right in the final tour and our quality's right in the final tour, we, we should come out of here with a victory. So we just got to move on to Epsley. It'll be another tough game. I know they got beat today, so it's just no easy games in this division. Thanks, Steve.